Hey, it's good to be with you for our Daily Dose today, and we're going to have a little bit of Christmas in June, actually. Luke's one of my favorite stories of the life of Jesus. I like it because it's chronological and includes so many things. And uh, I, I'd love today to just go back to the beginning of the book of Luke as we have these Jesus stories and talk about what I call the Christmas nobody expected. Uh, imagine uh, that you are a young gal uh, engaged to be married and an angel shows up. And now I'm reading from Luke chapter one and this angel goes to her and says, greeting, you are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Now, you're engaged to be married, you're a little confused with what all this means, uh, a little bit troubled by it all, and you say, well, what's up with that? And the angel says, do not be afraid, Mary. You've found favor with God once again. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you're going to call him Jesus, means Savior. He's going to be great and called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He's going to reign over Jacob's descendants forever, and his kingdom will never end. Now, Mary, as you might know from the famous Christmas story, says, well, how can this be since I'm a virgin? And the angel says, well, the Holy Spirit's going to come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and the Holy One will be, uh, that is in you will be called the Son of God. And she says, well, I'm the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but if God or an angel comes to me and says, you are highly favored, you are going to be most blessed of all people, of course I'm going to say, hey, your will be done. Go for it. That sounds like a pretty good deal. But what fascinates me about this story and the statement, all generations are going to be blessed through you, the one born of you is going to be called the Son of God, you are so favored, is what I would expect versus what actually happened. Now, if I'm most favored of all men, like she was most favored of all women, uh, you think that might have a little impact on my finances? I would think so. At least financial security, at the very least. Uh, reputation, wow, if I'm favored of God, everybody's going to love me, everybody's going to think well of me. And family life, man, this marriage, this kid, this family, it's going to be just everything you ever dreamed of. But the reality in Mary's life, the reality beyond just the Christmas story to the Jesus story is it didn't really work that way. Uh, they didn't have any particular financial security. Uh, there was no stellar reputation. Uh, imagine trying to convince everybody throughout your life that this child uh, that was born before you were married was virgin birth child. Uh, try taking that to Nazareth High School and see how that plays. And as far as a happy and stable married life, well, months later, you're waddling to Bethlehem a long way because the authorities have said there's some special census and tax is going to be paid. The child is born and there's no room in an inn. Uh, and then you get some gifts a little while later, a few months later, as you're in kind of this house you're staying in. And um, those gifts are not going into your bank account and your retirement. Uh, they're going to help support you as you have to flee for your life to Egypt for a little while. Then you make it back. You get to live kind of a lower middle class life, most favored of God. And then you see your son crucified. And yet God is in the midst of all of this. You see, we love sometimes to see the front side of the story. We don't always look behind the scenes to see what that really means. But here's the great thing. At the end of the day, Mary indeed was most favored of all women. There's not one thing she would look back on and change. There's not one area where today she would look back and say, I was shortchanged. But I bet along the journey, there was some wondering. And I want to encourage you, if you're wondering, you as a son or daughter of God, a follower of Jesus Christ, are most favored of all mankind, of all womankind. Hold on to that.